March 30, 1939, Heinkel Hans Dieterle is about to break the world speed record with a new plane. But this story begins, much earlier with a defeat. It is 1935, the Heinkel, HE 112 inches were overtaken by the Messerschmitt, ME 109 inches in the competition held by the Reich Air Ministry for the new standard fighter plane of the German Air Force. Following this failure, Heinkel commissioned the Gunter brothers to design a new fighter plane with the ambitious goal of exceeding a speed of 700 miles per hour. Walter Gunter developed a completely new design, learning from past mistakes on Project 112, Project A Very Fast Plane is simple to build. It should have been called HE 113, but since the number, 13, was bad luck, it was named HE 100, and had its first flight on January 22, 1938. The machine was equipped with a Daimler Benz DB601 engine and a new evaporative surface cooling device. The new cooling system eliminated the need for aerodynamically inefficient radiator openings. However, it proved installable and was replaced with a retractable radiator system. The new simplified design had fewer parts than the Model 112, with less complex parts. While the Model 112 had 2,885 parts, the HE 100 inches had only 969, with 15,321 fewer rivets. The straight wing contributed greatly to these savings. Simplifying complexity saved 1,150 man-hours per wing. In addition, thanks to an ingenious system of exploding rivets by the Butter Brothers, the plane's surface was free of protrusions and aerodynamically efficient. The HE 100 inches briefly held the absolute speed record, flying the eighth prototype at 746.606 km per hour. It was a short-lived jubilation because, the following month, the M and 209 inches managed to beat the previous record, reaching 755.136 km per hour. But, many experts who argue that the competition was not fair because the planes flew at different altitudes. The ME 209 inches flew at 450 meters above sea level, where the drag is less. As a result, speed comparisons between the two planes cannot be considered valid. In 1939, the HE 100 inches was reputed to be one of the most advanced fighter designs in the world, even faster than the later FW 190, with unrivaled performance until the introduction of the Vought F4U Corsair in 1943. However, why it was not put into production remains a mystery.